everyone. Please make her feel welcome, Robin Schumann. Good afternoon, Toastmasters and guests. I am Robin Schumann, and I want to thank you so much for allowing me to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm going to take you way back. I grew up in the country in Pigway County. I think the only things there are really pig farmers and dairy farms. Let me tell you, those cows are not easy to sneak up on. <laughs> we tried to do cow tipping several times, so anyway. Moving forward to high school, my uh, high school was a very small high school in out by Circleville, Ohio. Um, I completely kept my mom and dad very, very busy with my activities. Not only academically, they had to stay on top of me, but I was really focused on sports. So in the fall, I was participating in cross country, and I also did the marching band. I was a part of the color guard, so. I was out there marching with my flag and, you know, enjoying all of the festivities. Um, in the winter time, I participated in basketball, as well as concert band. <laughs> in the spring, I was in track and field, and that's where I really excelled, which later down the path had led me to a full scholarship at a college called Rio Grande. Not only did I do all, did all that, I was also involved in swing choir, where we were dancing and singing. It was a group of people. We'd go and entertain small groups. And we would travel all over Ohio. My poor parents, they were so supportive. Now, just kind of step back to kind of tell you a little bit about my parents. They are two opposites. You know, you have my mom, who is encouraging me to almost be a pageant girl and dress up like a Vegas showgirl. <laughs> And then you have my dad, who was chasing me with the ATV to get me to run faster so I could get that scholarship. So somewhere in there, I landed right in the middle. I thank them so much. Time to move on to college. My freshman year in college, I went to the University of Rio Grande. And I was running cross country and track, excelling in my academics. Um, there were a couple meets that I was up against Ohio State. It was, Rio Grande was an NAIA school, so it wasn't an NCAA school. So we were peons compared to Ohio State. But that led me to my sophomore year getting a full scholarship at Ohio State and then also running for them. So transfer to Ohio State my sophomore year in college. Um, you know, coming from Rio Grande, I was a, I was a big fish in a little dinky pond. So I thought, hey, I'm going to go there and show them one thing or two. Eh. There's a little bit of a reality check for Robin. <laughs> well, Robin was this little dinky fish in this huge ocean, and she really had to prove herself. So I did. I had to. That was a big learning lesson in my life. I stepped up my game. I had to run faster. I had to jump further. And I had to study like crazy. Graduation in 1997, this is kind of a fun story I wanted to share with you. Here I am, all decked out, my cap and gown, green shoes, decked out in a green dress, and I decorated my cap with all kinds of glitter and sparkles. I thought, you know, then my mom's going to see me while I'm on the field. All 6,000 of the graduating class <laughs> walk out into the stadium. At that time, the sky was a little bit dark. I was a little concerned, but I'm a positive person. It's going to hold it off. As soon as ceremony started, torrential downpour. <laughs> Hello, my whole outfit that I worked on for weeks was a wreck. I had sparkles all over my shoe. My green shoes were a mess. Come on. So I had a brilliant idea. Bing. Hey, why don't I do a belly slide? in the infield on the football field. Huh? How about that? So my little group of people that I was standing with, we all took 
dashed to the football field and did belly slide. Guess who was in the newspaper the next morning? <laughs> uh, I knew because I saw my green shoes. So thank goodness I wore those green shoes. Um, moving on to my career, when I, um, kind of backing up, when I was in my junior year of college, I did an internship with WNCI. And, you know, I worked from all the way down to producing Friday night 80s, 70 Saturday night. I did Casey Kasem Stop 40 on Sundays. I was working night and day. They worked me to death. And they weren't paying me. I was an intern, you know? <laughs> so basically that led me to the opportunity to earn a full-time position with WNCI. So I was there a couple years. The radio station was sold out, unfortunately. So that's when I had an opportunity to move into sales. I sold for a radio station called WZAZ. I was also selling for, um, I kind of transferred over to WBNS Radio 1460, the fan. I wanted to make more money. Had an opportunity to move to Icon Off Solutions, which I had just left after 12 years. A great success. A couple things that really happened during that time. I met my, you know, success in my business. I met my husband, and we've been married for eight years. When we got married, we got married in Vegas by Elvis. We had 30 of our closest friends. <laughs> um, and, you know, just my relationship with my husband, I've been able to travel all over the world. Um, we've been to the Grammys three times, which was exciting. And we live in a condo downtown. So it's been a really great life. And I guess what I would like you to take away from this speech is basically, I'm a very hardworking person. I love life. I love my family. I'm easy going. So thank you so much for your time.